Crawford. Welcome to another Community Insider. And with me today, I've got Stephanie Tucker with the Amarillo Venom. Hey! Hey, how are you? Doing great. Now, Stephanie, you know, you grew up around here. This is home, so, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about why you decided to stay here in the Amarillo area. To be honest with you, I was born and raised in Groom, Texas, a small little town mm -hmm. where, you, uh, you know, everybody knows everybody, and that's a good thing about the Texas Panhandle. So it's funny how people sometimes move from a small town to Amarillo, right. and they go, oh, they're at the big city. Um, but, you know, this is probably the most giving communities that I've ever been around to. We actually lived in Dallas for a short amount of time and we couldn't wait to get back up here. So, you know, and then we had opportunities to do what we're doing now right. and so you're just like, wow, how does that happen? But you want to get back to the community that kind of built you and it's a great place to raise kids. Absolutely. It is a great place to raise mm -hmm. kids. Now, Stephanie, when it comes to sports, why is it important that Amarillo rally around our local sports teams? Well, to be honest with you, we are the, I guess within three hours, you know, there's not a another pro team. So those are kind of the other things. But also it's about the entertainment. There's a lot of things that you can do, but not a lot of things that you can either do with your clients or with your family and not be embarrassed that you're there and doing it. Um, so, you know, that was one of the things that's kind of fun. It's not just about, I mean, I think football, I think sports here in the, the Texas Panhandle are very important. And I think that they think that that's kind of where your kids start very young to build on and then they whether they play in high school or not but I think I mean you look at Dick Bivens Stadium sometimes and there's 12,000 people there to support their either alma mater or their kids or just to come because that's what you do so I mean it kind of builds a community around I think around sports. Absolutely. And you know, it's very rare for a female to own a football team. And I, I hear all over the place that just uh, people going, you know, she amazes me. And, and you know, I want to strive to be like that. And you know, you've got young women and young girls that look up to you going, that's Stephanie Tucker. I want to be like her. What kind of advice would you give those young girls? I'm going to say the first year was kind of funny. I never thought it. I would guess I was raised in, well, a small town that they never looked down like, hey, you can do whatever you want mm -hmm. to. Had parents that push me along. I've had a husband that supports me. So I've never thought, oh, whatever. But then when I heard the first person like, you're a girl and you're on a football team. And I was like, oh, I never thought about it that way. But again, I don't think the Venom just as a football team. Mm -hmm. I think it as a, an extension of the community. How can we give back? Um, and, you know, I joke about it. It's a nonprofit, but we do have a mission. We want to entertain people, but we also want to give back to the community. So you just keep on dreaming and doing and having fun. You find a passion and when you're passionate about it, whether it's this and that, you know, yes, I'm passionate about football and I love it, but I'm more passionate about how to help another business grow and do some fun things like that. You know, here's one of the things I love about you, Stephanie, is uh, I know you've been involved in other sports teams around the area and, you know, yeah, you're an owner, but you know what? One day I had a my son and I went to check out a baseball game, and hey, we're gonna go get a hot dog. There you are in the concession <laughs> stand, working just as hard as anybody. I don't think I've seen another owner jump in and do something. Well, like that's that. funny that you say that, but I've always told my kids if I'm too good to do something, then how can you ask somebody else to do it? But also, to be successful, you have to do whatever it takes, whether it's clean the toilet. So, first day that I had the team, um, the Venom team, we were cleaning the office, and I have a picture, and it's sitting in my office of me scrubbing the floors in the, the bathroom. But it's just whatever it takes to do it. I mean, we were I was raised in a, um, a community and raised in a, on a farm where you reap what you sow, and that's yeah. truly what you do. And so you try to, you get dirty, and that's actually the fun part. <laughs> they get to have the fun jobs, and no, I want to do it. Plus, I want to know the people and make sure I'm not the total control freak, but that way I know that it's somewhat done right, you know. Right. Yeah, well, that's wonderful here mm -hmm. to hear. And of course, uh, you know, 2017 kicking off the new season of the Amarillo Venom, and I'm guessing you guys are kind of gearing up now. Yeah, it's actually kind of an exciting time. You know, we um, just created this new league that was a merger between a North and a South league um, about two years ago. We had six teams. Now we're growing into 14, possibly 16. So not only does the competition go, you know, increase on, but off the field too. I mean, we want to be the franchise of the year. We want to, you know, so yes, um, coach, we had tryouts this last, this last week. So we're, we're gearing up. We're getting a little, it's almost exciting time, especially when I see, you know, going to a college game or watching the pros on, 
on TV, you get excited and you know this, and then a lot of people are like, well, y'all don't play then? I'm like, no, we keep, you know, y'all interested in football during the off season. Right. So, and they're like, oh, never thought about it that way. So, we're very excited and trying to go for another championship. We lost by three points this last year, but we'll keep on striving for another. So, our year this year. Yes, yes. I keep on saying that. One of these days we'll get another ring. Awesome. So, well, Stephanie, thanks for taking yeah, the time. Yeah, it was fun. Today. Very fun. Thanks for having me. It's another Community Insider. Hey, if you've got somebody you'd like us to talk to, just uh, leave us a message and we'd be more than happy to get them in here.